right now I will remove the cover and show you what's inside. It may be held by a screw over here. So remove the cover and underneath you will see this motor. This valve is normally closed, uh, which means that when uh, the motor gets the signal from our thermostat, it will uh, open uh, the valve or the rubber ball inside uh, the body of the valve and allow the water to flow. Uh, once the temperature reaches a certain level, it shuts off and this spring here returns the ball to the closed position thus preventing the water to flow. Right now I will turn the heat all the way up. When the heat is on you will see this uh, spring moving, the mechanism and the spring. This now means that uh, uh, the valve is open and the water moves through the pipe. And now I will turn the heat off all the way. And as you can see, uh, the spring goes back, uh, which means it's trying to close the flow of water. Here we have the new Honeywell uh, zone valve, the original. Uh, I'll show you guys the number. This one is V8043C1058. There are different modifications of these valves. Uh, this is the one that we have in our home, uh, but there could be other options. You have C, D. You have G, G comes with four wires, you have F as well, so it will depend on what kind of system you have at your home. So again, on top we have the motor, this is our valve body, inside we have the black ball. Right now we will disassemble the whole thing and show you how it looks inside, and as I said, this one comes with two wires. First I will remove this bolt using the flat head screwdriver. This will allow us to remove the cover. And again, this is our motor. We've got springs, one inside, one outside. Um, the wiring. To remove the motor we have to unscrew two bolts. One on that side and one on the other. Again, I'm using the same screwdriver, flathead. Uh, one more important step that you have to do before you remove the motor, you need to make sure that it, this lever stays in manually open position. This will allow you to easily uh, remove the motor. It could be an after, but uh, make sure it switches to manual open. I'll show you. So in this case the spring pulls it backwards, we have to push it all the way and leave it in manual open. So now I will be able to remove uh, the motor. The electrical motor will turn this mechanical linkage and this allows uh, the ball inside to move and uh, block uh, the water flow. So right now I'm turning it myself and you can see the ball moving inside. Now I will remove this uh, cover which has the ball inside, I'll be using 8mm socket to remove these four uh, bolts. And this is how it looks. Inside we have the ball, rubber ball. This is the rubber gasket which can be removed and replaced as well. And this is how the body of the valve looks like inside. So this is the side where the water uh, get uh, cl uh, blocked on this side, the ball goes in here. When it's open it just stays in the middle like that. This, is, uh, this arrow shows the water flow, it flows from here over there. And again this is how the ball works. When you assemble the valve, make sure that the gasket goes back right here and that these guides, 1, 2 and 3 right here, match the one, uh, ones on the uh, body of the zone valve. And uh, then simply reinstall the screws and put the 
uh, motor back on 